By the end of 2021, nearly 90 million people have been forced to flee their homes due to conflict and climate-related disasters globally. Of these, 60 million are internally displaced. As the crisis becomes more complex and challenging, displaced communities are increasingly coexisting with host communities in the same region, who often have varying humanitarian and development needs. When designing programs to respond to these crises, humanitarian, development and government actors must ensure that both host and displaced communities are considered. Area-based approaches allow practitioners to do this. By considering the needs of people affected by a crisis within a specific geographical area and across a range of different interconnected sectors, area-based approaches can provide a longer-term holistic solution. They put strategies and approaches designed with and implemented for local people first and projects coming from the outside second. They can promote the integration of displaced populations into local communities and economies, while also building social cohesion and resilience of the communities in an area. How can you include area-based approaches in your program design? When applying an area-based approach, it's important to consider the context you're operating in and the program's goals. Here are eight tips for an area-based approach. One, focus on an entire location, not a target group. Rather than focusing on specific categories of people, Consider the needs of the entire population in a specific area. 2. Take a holistic and integrated approach. Address the various needs and challenges of the displaced population in a comprehensive and integrated way rather than addressing individual needs in isolation. While an individual program doesn't have to address all needs, it can partner with complementary programs and actions to provide a holistic solution to displacement needs. 3. Put the needs and perspectives of displaced populations at the center of the approach. First, it is critical to understand who the people in question are. Who are the local populations? Where have the displaced people come from and do they have any history in the area? What might cause tensions between the communities and where are their existing bonds and connections to build on? Then, it is essential to consult with displaced populations when designing and implementing an area-based approach. This helps to ensure effectiveness in meeting their needs, helps to build trust, fosters social cohesion, and ensures no one is left behind. 4. Engage all actors. Area-based approaches require local actors' sustained leadership and engagement. Successful engagement will require consultation with communities to understand their needs and perspectives in design and implementation, as well as support and involvement of local and regional authorities, civil society organizations, the private sector, and community leaders. 5. Work within and invest in existing structures in the location. Include efforts to build the capacity of local organizations, such as community-based actors and local governments. This will develop the skills and resources needed to support displaced populations, promote durable solutions, and help mitigate cuts to aid. 6. Coordinate efforts across different sectors. Adapting coordination structures to be appropriate for locally-led area-based approaches is essential to avoid duplication of effort among actors in different sectors and ensure a comprehensive and integrated approach. 7. Build resilience and stability in the region. This might involve supporting local communities and economies as well as addressing any underlying social, economic or political factors contributing to displacement and instability. 8. Measure and evaluate results. Implement mechanisms to measure and evaluate the program's effectiveness. Is it meeting the objectives? Can any necessary adjustments be made? Make sure to do this collectively and inclusively while helping all actors involved focus on their contribution to the overall progress rather than actor-specific results. How can an area-based approach work in practice?
In 2020, REDS was part of an initiative to institutionalize area-based approaches in the Somali region of Ethiopia, an area host to more than 250,000 refugees. The project, under the EU Emergency Trust Fund for Africa, consulted with displaced and host communities on their needs and developed strategies to improve interactions with both communities, trained local and regional authorities on area-based approaches, incorporating insights from the community consultations on their program's design, implementation, monitoring and evaluation. Co-hosted coordination forums with the government to bring together different actors such as the UN, civil society, the private sector, local and international NGOs and academia to design and evaluate the integrated plans developed as a result of the training. As a result, this improved in the region, interactions between host and displaced communities indicating increased social cohesion, the capacity to address multiple needs associated with the complexity of displacement through linking community and government engagement with humanitarian and development efforts, as well as relationships and trust between humanitarian and development actors, local communities and government. And as this approach was integrated into legal and institutional frameworks at subnational and national levels, there is increased ownership and potential scalability to other Ethiopian contexts in the future. What does this mean for policymakers and programs working in areas that host displaced people? Local authorities need to show leadership and a willingness to engage and coordinate with both central government and aid actors working in their locations. Aid actors need to incentivize partners to focus as much on their contributions to wider local strategies as on individual project results. UN agencies need to use their resources and influence to provide platforms for open coordination and collaboration. NGOs need to invest in strategic coordinations as much as delivery and focus on promoting the voices of local people. To learn more about area-based approaches and the training curriculum, visit www.regionaldss.org or contact us at info at regionaldss.org.